Okay, guys, to check out the reception for digital television in your area, all right, go to DTV.gov and go to reception maps. Okay, I'm going to put a link directly to that in the description of the video here, guys. All right, so once you get here, as you can see on the screen, you want to go here and put in your address or just type in your zip code as, as I have done here and give it a chance to do its magic and it'll bring up the reception or signal strength for each one of the... Um, local channels that's uh, provided through digital television uh, right here guys so as you can see in my area I have pretty much all strong signal strength now your results may vary depending on your area but just know that the uh, device that I'm going to show you guys to use to get your digital television it has a 40 mile uh, uh, ability to pick up signals within 40 miles guys so if you're within 40 miles of the tower you should be able to get a signal guys but again results may vary guys Okay, guys, so let's take a look at the uh, packaging. Okay, guys, so here you go, guys. We have the Stanley Digital TV Antenna ATS-1000, guys. Small package, guys, 4K ready digital television, guys. So this is future-proof, guys. So when we start receiving 4K television over the digital airways, all right, you'll be able to go ahead and get it, guys. So go ahead and check out the, the link in the description, guys. I have a link to the... Uh, the items okay guys all right so here guys let's go ahead and open up the package and let's take a look at um the contents guys there's not a lot in the box all right toss that to the side all right so let's take a look at the manual guys so it's very basic manual some of the uh, details of the, the product guys but it's a pretty much easy setup guys so let's go ahead and toss this to the side all right so right here guys we have the uh small uh form factor antenna guys is a flat antenna guys again it comes with a 10 foot cable all right, coaxial cable, as you can see here, guys. All right. Cool, so let's open this up, guys. All right, so as you can see, guys, again, it's a very, very thin profile, guys. All right, it's very small, paintable surface. Surface, all right, it's very great for portable uses, guys, like mobile homes and RVs. It comes with 3M tape, so that way you can mount it to, uh, you know, a wall or whatever. So, all right, guys. So, very small, guys, very compact. All right, guys, so... Before I show you how to set up the uh, digital TV antenna, let's go ahead and take a look at some of my current TV programming with my current setup. And then after we set up the new antenna, we're going to go ahead and take a look at, you know, the performance um, of the new uh, Stanley antenna. All right, guys, so as you can see, here are some of my local channels here, guys. Some of the higher channels have pretty good reception, like this is channel 39. It plays pretty well. All right, some of my other local stations here in my area, like channel 20. Right here, as you can see, guys, beautiful high-definition picture, guys. All right. Next up is going to be, uh, I believe I'm going to look at channel 13, guys. All right, so again, normally I get good uh, uh, views out of this one, guys. No issue with any pixelation or anything. Now, channel 11 is very difficult to get, guys. This is what channel my Texans come on, man, and it, it gives me a headache whenever I try to watch the Texans, guys. I actually had to purchase local television through DirecTV or somewhere just to watch my Texans, but... I figured this out, so this is what I use now. So as you can see, weak to no signal there, guys. Then on this next channel, channel eight, this is another local station, guys. Again, the reception is kind of spotty. As you can see, it starts off pretty good, but then eventually it starts to pixelate and break up because it's having trouble holding on to the signal, guys. And as you can see, if you're watching your shows, that can be very frustrating, guys, but this antenna that I'm gonna show you is gonna solve that problem, all right? So, as you can see, guys, again, Trying to go into the settings here, guys. I want to see if it'll show us the signal strength. Okay, my TV does not have that function, but some of your televisions, if you go into the information, it'll actually show you the actual signal strength, kind of like a meter. All right, guys, but this is, again, a local ch channel. You see, I got 1080, 1080i, uh, high-definition picture there. And this is channel two, another local channel, again, HD. All right, ignore the scan lines, guys. It's just a television drawing a picture, but channel two, it gives me trouble as well. Every now and then, it'll break up you know and it all starts to pixelate and as i say that there you go right there see all right so let's go take a look at the bad guys and look at my current setup guys all right so i literally have a paper clip stuck in to the uh auxiliary cable all right guys so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and take your plug and plug the coaxial into this auxiliary end or antenna end guys all right so once you do that next we want to go into your television settings and go and scan for the channels using the new antenna guys all right so you go into your your television 
All right, so as you guys can see, I've already mounted it to the wall. It's right here on the corner. All right, so now you go into your settings, go look for broadcasting or antenna or channel scan, and go down and find your uh, channel scanning option, guys. All right, so on mine, I got auto programming. All right, we want to go ahead and hit start to search for channels. Set the type of antenna. Do you have air? Do you have cable? Do you want to search for both? So we want to go and select air, and then we want to scan, guys. All right, this takes a little bit of time, so let's go ahead and fast forward through this so I don't have to bore you guys with that. All right, guys, so we've done with the programming, guys. As you can see, we have somewhere around 117 channels. Oh, there we go, 118 channels, guys. So, again, pretty nice. 118 free channels are memorized, guys. So, now that we do that, we just go back in and go into our uh, guide. And as you can see right here, guys, we have a plethora of channels, guys. Look at that. All right, a bunch of different options when it comes to free digital television guys and there's always channels popping up and new channels so I would suggest that you scan uh, every once in a while just go in there and do a whole new scan and, and search for any new channels because there may be new channels available guys so as you can see man I'm down here to number 49 I didn't even go all the way down but as you can see each channel has sub channels so this is the ION station here locally in Houston and it's a great channel this is Cubo which is for like children's television guys again free quality television guys look at the picture guys it's high definition and it's coming through clear. No issues, no pixelating, no issues holding on to the signal, guys. So, again, great performance overall, guys. So, and I'm just kind of going through some different channels just so you guys can see. There's a bunch of different type of programmers here in my area, area, but you may have different results, guys. But overall, very nice free television. Doesn't cost a dime. Well, technically your tax dollars pay for it, but uh, it's okay. All right, guys. But again, as you can see, guys, pretty good performance from this antenna guys very affordable option when it comes to getting free televisions like I said guys remember this is not only optional at home you can use this outside in your garage out on your back patio because it's a very small form factor and again if you have a mobile home or RV this is a great way to add television it does not require a power source okay guys and it has great performance it, it can pick up channels from 40 miles away guys so Remember, go to the link in the description, guys, to get the lowest price on this antenna, guys. All right? Again, I'm going to link the digital television uh, reception map uh, website as well, guys. So just go there to check out the map if you need to see what channels are available in your area and uh, try to troubleshoot any uh, signal issues, guys. But pretty much that's it, guys. Follow these easy steps to get free digital television, guys. You know, cancel your cable. And again, you know, watch a local programming for free, guys. All right, no need to pay for local programming when you can get it for free. All right, guys, so if you have any questions or comments, drop them in uh, the comment section below, guys. Please like the video, too, guys, to help me support the channel, guys. And, um, you know, subscribe to the channel if you want to get any uh, notifications whenever I post new videos. But thank you, guys, for your time, and thank you for checking out my video, guys. Have a great day.